Hoje tem para massa, a folha, o cacto no stock, a cooking fish bioc, a modula folha, o coro de pulgri noa, a tarta de chá de cabelin, a morra, a jahina, a etera de a peça do yag, a cooking fish chá de hangar, a unaspedic em cacto na cacto de cacto de ragam, a cacto de cacto de cacto de cacto de cacto de cacto Thank you very much. Um, we're going to now conduct the um, a lot of this um, small fish uh, to the medium of English, so that Gudigan um, Gachtana, um, exactly what has been said here, and that um, we're all um, understand that uh, what I'm about to say is in ensuring that our pupils can return safely, and that as you as guardians uh, will understand that we have gone. Um, a long, long way um, since the closure since uh, March 12th to be able to uh, bring about this day um, and following the HSE guidelines and the Department of Education, we hope to be able to return to full functionality on the 7th of September. Bukli um, um, this is obviously going to be um, very strange and a new experience for all of the pupils that are going to be attending, but especially our first years. And this is why this small little video has been made to try to um, help and to try to alleviate any fears that um, any of the boys or parents or guardians that matter will have uh, as they enter Kalosh to own. Um, Friday the 28th is an introductory day where an induction will be given to all the students as to how, um, I suppose, the running of Kalosh to own and how the boys will find their different rooms, where to go, and that uh, to meet their tutors, their year heads, um, myself, Moshe McDonagh, and uh, Siobhan the Rooney. Because there's nothing worse than arriving into a place with um, maybe over a thousand uh, pupils on site and to suddenly find yourself um, uh, lost completely. But this is the whole idea, is to bring them back slowly, to integrate them into the life of Kalosh to own. Um, it, we, it was never uh, meant to be um, uh, the way that we would have envisaged to be able to bring back any pupils, but it is what it is, so therefore we must try to um, ensure um, their safety and to ensure that all pupils when arriving back on the 7th would be well versed on what the protocols that have been laid down by the school in order to ensure um, the safe uh, return of our pupils. So, just to, to, to go to some, I suppose, some of the basics that, uh, that all pupils on arriving um, every day will be wearing a mask, um, a mask of any sort, so that we will expect all pupils um, when arriving to school will have a mask. And that mask will be kept on until they arrive. Um, and once they go to their locker, they will have a visor, like so, which will be provided by the school. The visor is a way where we will be able to ensure that boys will be able to be taught because the school unfortunately will not be able to um, ensure a one meter social distancing in classrooms due to the fact that the size of the classrooms and the configuration of the room it is impossible so the basic rule is you must wear a mask coming and going from school and while you're being taught you can wear a mask, but we wouldn't hope that uh, the visor would be the best way due to the fact that you can be here for a long period of uh, time and that uh, it may be harder for you to wear the mask all the time. So the visor is there. All teachers, all administrative staff, all cleaning staff will also be wearing mask protective coverings uh, during this period of time. At lunchtime, um, our at break, break time will be staggered. Um, which means that uh, we will not have all the students uh, going out for lunch at the same time and that's to ensure again safety um, and to ensure that most of the boys um, that will want to get out um, that they won't be all going out at the same time. 
Also, we will have staggered starting times and finishing times, but we're working on that with uh, Colossi Eastgun at the moment to ensure that again, safe passage in in the morning and going home. This will be um, that some pupils may start at half nine, uh, may finish at 10 to three, but all that information will be given in due course, but it's just to ensure again, the, the safety of pupils uh, and the way that we would be uh, able to ensure that all pupils arriving or leaving are leaving in, in, in the safest possible ways according to the HSE guidelines. Um, a, a comprehensive letter has been sent out and it's up on the website. Um, I would ask you to probably to read it carefully and go through it with your son, showing them exactly how and where uh, Kalosh to own would want uh, any pupil coming in um, to school to be to enjoy obviously their experience but also to be cognizant of the fact that um, it's not just about them it's about um, our school community and um, so on Friday um, we will expect all boys to arrive in their uniform full uniforms and um, at that stage they will be given um, their um, journals, timetables, lockers, visors, and a sanitary pack bag, which is um, a sanitary pack bag. All boys will receive the sanitary pack bag, and in there we would ask you to replenish it um, as it um, decreases. All visors will be supplied by the school as well, so they will know exactly uh, the routine when they come and go from um, school. They'll be given a guided tour um, by uh, the teachers and our captain scholar, so that they will have an understanding as to what's happening um, going on all around them when they do arrive in on the, um, the starting date. Um, the starting date um, for all the school is the 7th, but um, on the 4th of September, the first years will be brought in and they will have complete their first teaching day. There will be no other pupils in the school bar, I think, a, a short meeting with our TYs. So this will give them the run of the school on Friday the 4th, starting at 20 to 9, finishing at 1 o'clock, to give them um, six classes or periods that day where they will be able to be taught and we will be able to help them move from one class to another class and to show them exactly where to go. Again, it, 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 it's a way of enabling us to, to ensure uh, the difficulties and we do realise that there will be difficulties. From the point of view of um, books on the first day, we don't need any books or iPads or that will all be discussed um, following that. So when they come in on the first day, it is just come in, dressed in their school uniform and everything else will be given to them. Um, so again, it is just an introduction, an induction day as we would probably call it, so that they will be able to um, find where they're going and understand the um, how the school uh, works on a daily basis. Um, we want to ensure that, um, you know, and, and they are, I mean, like, like, like us all, eager to come back to get um, our uh, education system back on the road um, and that's why the government has spent uh, so long in trying to deliver and um, the best route that it possibly can but we must be cognizant of the fact that we, we do live in a world um, ever-changing and that at the moment um, we're looking forward to it but there may come a time where if um, certain individuals certain year groups or a whole school may have to close down due to um, the virus Again, precautions will have been taken and we will have followed the guidelines that have been laid down by the HSC and obviously we will keep all parents informed. Um, the last thing I'll leave you with is that in Palastone, um, our motto uh, within would be uh, Mass August Mishnah. Uh, mass is respect, Mishnah is courage. Uh, mass um, respect means you have to respect yourself and respect others around you. This is not. This is so important in this particular era that we're living in. You must respect the space of people around you. You cannot go around hugging, kissing, or jumping on each other. Or that, unfortunately, um, please God, may come back someday when uh, children are going to be able to um, participate and the fun and games that that does exist. But the respect 
yourself and others is primary for us moving forward. The other word, courage, um, and we have shown over 50 years in existence, the courage that we expect all boys to be able to show, um, not just during their schooling here, but to take that um, out into the workplace and through their life, the courage of being able to face up to different um, things that will come in their way. At the moment, Collage to Own, along with all other schools in Ireland, must show the courage to stand up, stand up against the virus, so that we will one day move forward as a country and as a, 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 as a world body to be able to say we did and we fought this to ensure that big law Ella Egan Boyrach and please God that uh, if we all follow the basic guidelines that we have set out in the letter Gamemid Erfad Nisbar Bavor Jesus Lan August Gidi Madden Day Hina Igadeha Clog Pasulagum Gameg Shukalar Slam of the Sabal the Tagiara Accord Slam Hamad.